uh, there's a great documentary. It's on either Amazon Prime or Netflix. It's called Prohibition, and it's a Ken Burns movie, which means it's long as shit, but <laughs> it's really good. I did not know this. Prior to the income tax, do you know how the bulk of the federal government was funded? I do not know. Consumption tax on liquor. Hmm. And then when they pass, so here's the thing. And this is where I think... You said I'm, that was prior to Prohibition, right? Yeah, prior to Prohibition. God dang, we drank a lot of fucking alcohol. Well, we did. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a bit of a problem. But here's the funny thing. So a lot of people attribute the income tax to the Great Depression. After watching that movie, or that documentary, rather, I kind of think that the income tax... I think the Depression itself resulted from prohibition if not solely it was a big part because oh, yeah. so many industries went under because they took away money. all that money well, and they pointed out it's not just alcohol it's taverns it's saloons it's barrel makers it's farmers who are growing the the wheat the barley the whatever because there's mm-hmm. a lot of different types of alcohol out there shipping companies distributors it's a lot of jobs glass that's a ton of jobs so they took this thing, which I got news for you guys. The government doesn't know how to do shit. This is why every single drug, and I hate to say it like this, because obviously you're going to have addicts regardless. You're every, have every, addicts regardless. Every single drug should be legal and sold, you know, because the thing is you can tax everything. To a point. I think there are some, some substances that should be legal. Obviously, I'm not talking like homegrown meth. <laughs> yeah, but marijuana, certainly. Marijuana, absolutely, you know. I think, I think if the federal government legalized marijuana, you could do away with the income tax. They would never do it, but it, I think mathematically it could work. Speaking of income tax, Donald Rainwater uh, wants to get rid of the per, uh, income tax in Indiana. Well, hell yeah, you get rid of, you get rid of the income tax and you supplement it with uh, consumption tax yeah. on, on marijuana. The tax on marijuana alone, with him doing that too, and also, did you? Uh, did well, you? Why do you think California legalized it? Oh yeah, but I mean that white when California they did that, I was like, to... well, there goes there. And damn, I will give California credit. <clears throat> it's like I said, well, there goes their deficit. Wrong. Nope. <laughs> they found a way. That's one thing that Democrats are really good at is They're spending. They're really good at deficits. And Republicans are good too. Yeah, federally. Absolutely. Yeah, they definitely know how to spend. I they, mean, uh, they spend. They spend just well, probably not just as much, but they're close. They're not. They're not innocent. <laughs> um, they spend it on different stuff. At least they spend it on cool shit like tomahawk missiles. <laughs> I just said that tomahawk. I meant tomahawk. Tomahawks. Um, but no. Uh, also, uh, Rainwater, he's uh, talking about getting rid of a uh, personal property tax, which I think is a fantastic idea. Personal yeah. property tax. Your home you oh, live in. Oh, well, yeah, no. Not not like a business you own. Yeah, I know, I know. Which, you know, rightfully so. I, I mean, but isn't that how schools are primarily funded here? Well, I mean, like you said, there's other ways to do it. Oh, yeah, there's definitely. You know, so if uh, he gets in and, you know, they legalize marijuana, the surplus from uh, the taxes – from that alone will fund so much and honestly just like we were talking about earlier how schools are funded and whatnot like you know underfunded well now it's really it's really goofy and it's i think because of horrible uh spending i mean well, uh, it's, it's horrible spending and it's also it doesn't make any sense so a lot of that money gets sent federally and then it gets redistributed to the states and i think that's asinine distribution so, is, is distribution is a big one so I'm going to present an idea I came up with years ago. And if any elected officials ever listen to this, Uh-oh. feel free to steal this. Uh-oh, what? You. Oh, no. no, this is a good idea. So right now, if you look, anybody, you can look at your W-2 at the end of the year. Look at your, you're paying the most money goes to federal. And then state and then uh, county or municipality, depending on what state you're in and how they divide it. If you have income tax. So but let's assume for a minute that every state and every municipality has income tax, just for shits and giggles. Flip that ratio. So the bulk of my money, under, under my idea, the bulk of your money you pay in income tax would go to your local municipality or city or county or however it's divided. Then the next amount, so your state would probably be about the same. But I guarantee you if you did this, your state taxes would go down because it's not being funneled to the federal government first. Mm. and it's staying within your state that's a good idea and then the least amount of money you pay in taxes goes to the federal government 
Because think about it. It's just an issue of scale. You know, if there's 320... I'll even... I'll even downplay it. Let's say there's 250 million taxpaying Americans. If each one of them paid a dollar annually in income tax, that's 250 million dollars. And we're, I mean, we're going to pay a lot more than that. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're going to pay more than a dollar. But I mean, think about that. It's 250 million dollars if everybody shoves a dollar to them every year. Let's say they do a dollar every month. That's that goes up 12 times. I don't even want to start doing that math. That's a lot of money. That's a shit ton of money. And that's only income tax. Well, how is our spending so horrible? Because, because again, it, there, there's no, first of all, there's no accountability. And theoretically, there would be. But again, these numbers have just gotten so big, people don't even understand. I mean, if you ran your household like that, you'd have been bankrupt tonight. I mean... <laughs> I mean, if you spent money in my Congress, you've been be... bankrupt five minutes into this podcast. Yeah, I mean, I, sh- shit. I can't we, afford my mic. <laughs> and we can't even print our own money because that's a felony. Yeah, right. I but they can was, do it. I thought this was America, damn it. <laughs> I thought this was America. <laughs>